Good afternoon, everybody. Four and I am, and welcome to Soul Food Sunday. So y'all know I'm about to do the FCBC recap. Shout out to Pastor Mike. So as I told y'all last Sunday, <clears throat> excuse me, as I told y'all last Sunday, they they had to do. They're doing online for today's the 17th, and then for the 31st. So next Sunday you'll be able to go in person. But today's message I know is going to get home. It's going to hit home. So strap in because we about to get surgical. Boom. Now you can go check out his um. <clears throat> you can go check out the sermon. I think they have another one at 2 p.m. It's on FCBC, uh, NYC.org. You can find it on Facebook, Instagram, all of that stuff. Tune in, tune in, tune in. I told people about it, so I hope that y'all tuned in. It was great. Boom. Here we go. That's for those who didn't make it. I'm going to just give y'all a recap. Because some people, like, you know, y'all like to see the message, and I'm here to deliver the message today because it was a soulful Sunday. Boom. So... I wrote it down, too. I wrote everything down. This is what I like about being out because I can just write everything on my laptop. So, I wrote a whole bunch of notes. So, I'm not going to give y'all all the notes, but I'm going to give y'all, I'm, like I did, like little bullet points. Not an outline. <laughs> Shout out to Pastor Mike. Shout out to all y'all. FCBC did it again. So, there was a few messages, but I feel like the overall message was, wait, let me pull it up right here because I wrote it down on my notes. It says, I wrote, no God is moving, right? That's, that's, that's what I labeled this. So, the main what is this? This is work. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. This is work. Okay, guys. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so um, it says, allow. stop allowing your expectations to kill your joy. Stop allowing your expectations to kill your joy. So what I felt like he meant by that is that like, he said like sometimes like God will move through your life and because he's not showing up the way you want him to show up and because the universe is not responding to you, is not responding to you the way you want the universe to respond, you, it's like you dub your joy. Like you cannot dub your joy. Do not, ex don't allow your expectations. Expectations are a killer. They will kill your joy. Just because something didn't show up like this and it showed up like that, you can't see it because in your mind you had a plan. And if the things don't come to fruition as you planned, you wind up killing your joy, missing a complete opportunity because your, the goal was people are like, we'll pray, right? And people will pray like, um, I want God to do this. I want God to do that or whatever. And when he dug in, just because he doesn't do it the way you want him to do it, it looks like he's not doing it. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. You got to open your eyes, open your eyes, eyes wide open. Then he was saying, it was, I got a whole bunch of notes here, guys. Let me scroll down. Hold on. This is where it got so. Then he said, you got to be open to God, even if it's offensive to you. It's not all about your ego. It's about the breakthrough. Like sometimes we get blinded because things are not happening the way we want them to happen. You have to allow, oh God, oh universe, can you please? And then when they deliver it to you, just because the delivery package wasn't blue instead of red, you're dubbing it. Absolutely not. And he also said something that I think is very, the whole, the whole sermon was very important. But he said something that I also say as well is that the healing process can be challenging. No, let me rephrase. The healing process will be challenging. Day 55, get into it. The healing process will be challenging. But don't let those challenges are only temporary. The challenges are only temporary because you will become transformed on the other side. You got to, sometimes you got to get grimy and gritty. You got to go through that to get to the place that you want to be. Healing is not always peaches and roses. Sometimes it's a little doom, not gloom, but it could be gloom and not doom. At the end of the day, the healing process is a lot. It's going to take work. And it's like moving in the way that you want to be healed. I give you a perfect example. Like, you know, I, in, in recovery, like people don't understand Like, there's certain people that abstain from drugs and alcohol and then there's recovery myself day 55 ew, all the way in recovery that means it affects every area of my life i can no longer respond the way i want to respond because i'm in this healing process i'm no i'm no longer able to hang out with certain people do certain things accept certain things i'm no longer able to do that because it doesn't align with what i want to come on out on the other side to be absolutely not trust the process yes it gets lonely you understand me? Yes, things happen. Yes, all of that. Yes, sometimes it gets grimy. Sometimes it's just, sometimes I got to deal with people that I just know I don't want to deal with. You understand? Deal with things that I know I don't want to deal with. However, I know it is for the better. I know it. Sometimes the way God moves in my life offends me. There's some people I want to be around. There's some things that I want to do and all of that. However, it does not align. It does not align with what I really want. It does not align. Sometimes God's, <clears throat> he said this way. Let me, let me scroll down what he said. Pastor Mike did it. He did it. They, they always do it. He says, be open to how God moves, even if it's offensive to you. Even if it's offensive that they played you. Even though it's offensive that they hurt your feelings. Even though it's offensive that you lost that job. Even though it's, it's offensive that you didn't get that promotion. Even though it's offensive, people are offending you. Even if you are offended. 
Because it's not about your ego. It's about the breakthrough. Let's get into it. He also said this. I don't know if I mentioned this. It's about that inner turmoil. Like sometimes I'll give you an example. Like sometimes it's like people think it looks so great and good on the outside when you are struggling and going through it on the inside. You are in turmoil on the inside. A lot of us make it look good. A lot of us make it look good. That healing process is ugly. It gets ugly. I'm talking about snots, boogers, all type of stuff. It gets ugly. Do not allow what what happens is that a lot of people like you. That's that outside pressure. You know, you make it look good, and everybody think you do good. On the inside, you struggling. Every day is a struggle, and that's okay. Believe in God and trust the process. Trust the process. Let me tell you something. This recovery stuff ain't easy. I'm not even gonna hold you. It's not. I know this. I Like I told you, I had a personal conversation with God. I quiet my mind. I was in an isolated place. And God spoke to me like, you will not be successful if you keep leading down this road. It's not going to happen. Hennessy is not your friend. <laughs> the Ramana, not your friend. Not your friend. The marijuana, not your friend. Nobody's your friend. These things are not your friend. You understand what I'm saying? Trust the process. Trust the process. You know what? I'm going to end it with this because this video is going a little longer. I'm going to end it with this. Oh, God, this job, cheese and rice. I'm going to end it with this. Let this, let's make this season <clears throat> the season of surprising yourself. Let's make this season of your life the season of, of surprising yourself. Not even surprising other people like, damn, I can't believe she did that. Be, look, look at yourself in the mirror like, damn, I can't believe you did that. Why not they try to stop you? Oh, Lord, not this, not that. Let this be the season that you surprise yourself and live in it. Live, this is the first time. I'm going to be brutally honest here. This is the first time in my life that I felt like I'm living what I'm saying. I'm living what I'm saying. I'm living. I'm doing this. Like I'm, I'm what they say. Uh, uh, what they say. Working the program. It's a, it's a simple program for complicated people. I'm a complicated, a little bit complicated up in my brain, you know? And I just, I'm so grateful and I feel so much joy and happiness. Let this be the season that you surprise yourself. Forget surprising other people. It ain't even about them. It ain't even about, man, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This process is hard because like I said, like when you're in recovery, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a well-rounded thing. That's an all-around thing. And every area of my life is my recovery. And every area of my life is my healing. You understand? I can't say I pray like, God, I don't want to go through these situations anymore. I don't want to deal with a narcissist. I don't want to deal with toxic people. I don't want to deal with somebody that don't like me in real life. I don't want to, I don't want to be around people that are secret haters. I don't want to be around none of that. I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to deal with any of that. I, I don't. I don't. And then they call. And then they text. And then they reach out. And I'm so happy. Like, oh my God, I miss that person. Oh my God. Not no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't you pray that you don't want to deal with this? Didn't you pray for that? Walking in my talk, talking in my walk, both of them. So allow this. If this message don't hit anybody, let it hit you today. Go ahead, pass the mic. You did. Oh, Lord. Got the bank head bounce with this one. Allow this to be the season that you surprise yourself. Forehead and eye. Imp. <laughs>